Hey, so we're actually at the point where it's getting exciting. We're almost ready to export our model into uh, ThingMaker's Toolkit. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is make sure that our scene settings are actually set correctly. So over here in the preview area, if you click on the one that's like a circle, a square and a sun, that's your scene one, you want to make sure you're in centimetres and metric. Now, what you'll notice here is that the model has been shrunk down in size, and over here it says 0.01. So, what you have to do is you need to scale the whole model up by 100. So what you need to, if you hold the shift key down and then just cl left click on each of the LODs and then over here in the scale go 100 tab 100 tab 100 tab and you'll notice that that didn't work see I'm still making mistakes easiest way to go about that I find is delete your nods and then just scale up on the 100 I'm just tabbing through and then return on the last one so now if we scale out we've got our Moana and you can see here that she's 1.7 meters tall so we know we've got the, the right height so literally click on the Moana model again click somewhere on the screen and then we're going to just quickly recreate the LODs so shift D return shift D return rename them I can't believe I used to stress over doing the LODs I mean it's actually the easiest part of setting up your model okay so we've got LEDs, scale, we're ready to go. So go over to file and just save before you do anything else. Now there's two methods that you can export. I'm going to show you the easy one first and then I'm going to show you the slightly more convoluted one. Um, so if you go export, FBX, and all you don't want to change, you only want to change two things down here. Click on Mesh and Experimental Apply Transform. Make sure that your model is named the same as what your. Uh, let's very quickly go into. So we've put Moana with a lowercase Moana in, in the texture file, so we want to make sure that the FBX has the same name in the same format so it's all lowercase so we know that's okay and we can click cl click connect Ugh, I can't get my words out export FBX so we have a second option um, for exporting um, I'm going to very quickly talk you through that now um, as with the previous method, you still need to make sure that you've done your scene setup and scaled it by 100 as before. So make sure you're in centimeters metric. You've got your 100 showing here, your minus, sorry, your 0 0.01 showing here. Then we go to File, Export, FBX. But this time, here where it says FBX 7.4 binary, we're going to change that to the axi. Um, no we don't, we're going to cancel that out of that first because what we need to do first is actually remove, reposition um, our model. So again I've just deleted the other ones because for me it's easier that way, I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing this, if there is let me know. Um, so Select your Moana model and you're going to hit R, X, and then minus 90 
and enter. Then you're going to go RY180 and then enter. So what you end up is with Moana facing down on the Z axis and her head is going up along the Y axis. Okay. Then we can create recreate our levels. So Now we can do, we're ready for the exports. So go to export, FBX, now choose the Axi method. And on this one, you want the Y forward and the Z up. Make sure mesh is chosen. Don't have any of these other ones unless you're actually doing an animation. Then you want the armature as well. But for this, we just want mesh, apply modifiers, and then switch animation off because there is no animation. All we're exporting is the mesh and apply modifiers. That's the only two things. Export as you would normally and then upload again. Now if we go over to the Moana file we're going to select the icon, the three textures and the FBX file and zip it. And it occasionally, Keymaker's Toolkit seems to want you to be lower, like case sensitive on this as well. So it's, it's a good habit just to get into making sure that you're naming the same thing throughout everything. And go OK. Now, come over to Keymaker's Toolkit. As you can see, I'm still trying to get my headband animation here. This part you don't need to be case sensitive when you're given the name. Um, you do need to fill out every single box. So we're going to go over, drag over the zip file, drag over your icon file. Select your category as a statue, the theme, fairy tale, price. I never really know what to do on the prices. Um, we'll go with word, which is fairly small. And that's it. Now, I'm going to skip through. You, you'll find um, that it will go through uploading, then it will go. Uh, to uh, building and once it's built it should then come up with a nice green download. If you get other problems we're going to address that in the very last chapter of this series but I'm hoping that this will all go through okay. Um, I'm going to stop the video here and then open up um, Planet Coaster to show you the next step. Once you've opened up the game, uh, it's, what you need to do is come down to the toolkit item menu. Uh, my computer is very slow, so I do apologise. He says. And here, at the top of the menu bar, just click on refresh. And it will search for anything new. In here we should be able to type Moana. She pops up. And we can just check her. So she, it looks like all the textures and everything are working quite nicely. There's no unwanted shine. She's a good size. So I'm not going to click to save her because what the, there is one final step to do. So um, we're not going to do anything else at this stage. We're actually going to just right click out of that and go on to the next one last tutorial.